Hi and welcome to the Studio Marco Primo. Today we continue our series of video complete production and we're recording vocals. I should have reminded you from the get-go that I'm not a singer, I'm not a guitar player. I play a bit of bass uh, with some comfort, but I'm a drummer first and of course a uh, audio engineer. All this is not to show a good song or, well, a perfect production or anything. It's just to show every steps. And so, of course, the two next steps will be mostly interesting, mixing and mastering. So I'm hoping that you will tune in. Uh, but for now, we're recording uh, vocals. Uh, the signal chain is uh, Mike Parts uh, S. 87, which I built myself from a kit from the company microphoneparts.com or micparts.com. It is a reproduction of the classic um, U87. Of course, not exactly the same parts or anything, but the sound is very transparent and can apply to many, many sources. So that's interesting. Uh, it's always my first try. If this does not fit, I have other microphones to try with the singer. Uh, but for me, the S87 for my voice, it's okay. So that's why I chose it. And it goes to a Manly Force preamp and then to the Golden Age Projects Comp 3A, which is a reproduction of the Universal Audio uh, LA3A. And then after that, it goes to uh, the converter of the Universal Audio 4 710. There's four preamps, but of course, uh, line ends going directly to the converters. And after that, in A, that it goes to the RMA UFX. Okay, I could have plugged the microphone directly to the, U, the UFX uh, preamps, but I wanted to experiment with the compressor uh, going in. Actually, it's not only a, an experiment. I do that all the time with a singer or any sources that can go very soft and then uh, loud. I will put a compressor in just to be sure that the converters are not saturated. Um, and uh, so that's what I did today with the vocals. Let's see the recording phase right now. I'm singing a song about recording a song for you. I'm showing tricks and techniques so you song for you I'm showing tricks and techniques so your recordings sound good recording drums and bass and guitars too mixing and mastering a fun to do All right, it's all fun, but let's listen to the track alone so you will have an idea of the raw uh, recording. Of course, I can't remove the compressor because it's burned in the track on the way in, but let's listen to it. I'm singing a song about recording a song for you. I'm showing tricks and techniques so your recordings sound good. Recording drums and bass and guitars too. Mixing and mastering a fun to do. I'm singing a song about recording a song for you. I'm showing Tricks and techniques so your recordings Mixing and mastering a fun to do I'm 
bass and guitar stew. Mixing and mastering a fun to do. Again, I'm not a singer. I just want to explain and show every steps of a big production. Um, I should remind you what you heard isn't mixed. So with the old song and everything and at the uh, recording phase as well, what you heard, it's only levels and pannings. The mixing is in the next video. I hope you'll be there. And uh, in the meantime, if you have any questions or comments or suggestions, put them in the comments, suggestions for future videos or uh, anything to be done in this series. I uh, hope you like this video. If you did, please click on the like button, consider subscribing, hit the bell to get notifications, go in the description, there's some link to buy Magic's products. Um, of course, other ways to help the channel is to play many videos and share those videos. It's always a great help.